Hey everyone, it's Megan. It is Blog Hop Day. Kinder Stampo has um, graciously asked me to participate in her blog hop, and I am so excited about it. It is all about kids and what you can do with your kids, fun projects, that kind of stuff. And what I came up with was a couple ideas um, using chipboard. Uh, super simple and very just fun to do. And it'll keep your kids hopefully busy. And you can make fun learning projects out of them too. Um, what we're going to be doing is making a um, coloring book with cardstock, some paper, and um, running some ideas through your head if you want of what you can do with the chipboard and an offtake of my idea. Um, I've made an imagination book using chipboard, some rings, paper, and some twine. And I've just, this is a, I believe, a 6x6 six six, um, cutout chipboard. I added paper, cut out a little border here, a couple tags, and it says My Imagination Sketchbook. And it's just a plain drawing paper that you can make for your child. Um, and you, they can draw, doodle, whatever they want. And it just has a couple of these rings here. The, another project you can do with your children is uh, an alphabet book. You can do an alphabet book and use your Cricut. Um, I used my um, plant and school book to cut out my letters and you can go all the way to Z of course. You can do numbers with this if you want, anything you'd like to make it creative. You can add a picture of an apple or a bird for a bee, um, anything you want. Very versatile. And I just added some ribbon for fun and some for uh, some ribbon for color here. You can also do a um, coloring book, which is what we're going to be doing today. I have printed off some uh, coloring pages off the internet from Fisher Price, and this is going to be a girls' coloring book. Um, this from Snap and Style, and a lot of really cute, simple images to color and to have fun with. So let's get started. So we're going to start out with a 8 and 3 quarters by 11 and a half, uh, or 11 and a quarter piece of chipboard. You're going to make your marks for your um, crop of dial at 3, 6, and 9 inches apart. Sand your edges if you need to from where you cut it. Go ahead and use your cropper dial and use the 3 16 hole punch and, and punch through the three um, markings there that you have, the 3, 6, and 9 inch marks. Alright, you're going to do it this outer piece of the um, coloring book as well. Now you're going to do the same thing and match up your holes with all of your uh, coloring book pages as you can see there and do the same thing with the crop dial as punch your holes through all of it that way you don't have to match them, try to match them up later next you can get your piece of paper this is the flower shower stack from DCWV and measure it out the same size as the chipboard and go ahead and use your quick dry adhesive or any kind of glue that you have and liberally put it around on all your chipboard and paste your piece of paper down. Make sure that when you paste it down you rub out any um, rigid edges. Uh, you can use a brayer if you want. I don't have one so I'm just using my hands and smoothing it out as best as I can. And you're then going to do your uh, second side here. Um, the back page or the back part of your coloring book and same as you're out your paper, add your glue and smooth out your edges. Go ahead and take your crop dial and punch back through your holes again on both uh, pieces of chipboard. There we go. And you're going to do that with both of your sides. Now you're going to um, add some paper to the back side of each side of the chipboard. 
And again, these are all measured at um, 11 and a quarter by 8 and 3 quarters. And that's the measurements for the chipboard and all the pieces of paper. I love this stack. It's a pretty paper stack. One of my favorites, actually. There we go. Last hole there. Go ahead and set your crop dial aside and cut off any excess paper that you might have. There we go. All right. Going to do the same thing with the other uh, piece of chipboard for your coloring book and add another piece of paper to that. And do the same thing that you did with the first and punch your holes through that as well. There we go. Take these little metal rings, I bought at Joann's, they're just closure, closure rings. Insert your paper, match up your holes, and put your three rings through your holes and snap it shut. There we go. That one was giving me a little issue. There we go. The best thing about this is you can change out your pictures and, you know, just go ahead and, you know, save them, change them out, and reuse this on a regular basis. Now I'm going to cut some ribbon here and add some ribbon to the metal rings. You can knot these if you choose, as I'm showing you there, or you can just tie one around, you know, one, you know, loop around there. <clears throat> Trim off any excess. I'm grabbing another color here and tying that around. I like adding ribbon um, just like everybody does on their little scrapbook minis. Um, it just gives it so much more I think and it covers up the rings nicely. Um, you don't have to add your ribbon if you don't want to. <clears throat> it's just an option. There we go. That's the last one that I'm adding. And now I'm just going to add a border with a Martha Stewart um, scallop dot punch <clears throat> using some white cardstock and put it on the side of the um, coloring book. There we go. I usually have a hard time. They usually end up not uh, straight, but this time they came out straight. So here I'm going to get my ATG gun and just ATG tape uh, the border on. There we go. Now I've used my <clears throat> Cricut and cut out um, plant and school book letters for my coloring book. And I have used my ATG gun or my Zig 2A glue pen. There we go. <clears throat> and I am just gluing these down. the K. I put them all down <clears throat> and it says my coloring book. Here I finished the book and it says my coloring book and with your pages in it that you can change out, save, and print off from the internet. <clears throat> and I have the alphabet book which is um, not totally finished but I just put a couple letters in there for an example. And my imagination sketchbook. And that's a great uh, something super simple that you can just add regular paper to. I, I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day everyone. Bye bye.